Hello Trinity Yo-Yo Club. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you very much for that video you made for me. I, it was really special and I appreciate it. So your first question, what makes uh, CLYW such a good company? Well, from an outside perspective, uh, I've always loved Cable Lodge just because I think they make the most interesting products that play the best. Um, I love the aesthetics, the design, the story. I think it all comes together really well. The branding, just like the kind of the coolest thing uh, to me in the, in the industry. I like that they support local economies and they always put quality first. And then from an inside perspective, on a more personal level, I love Caribou Lodge because of the people that are behind it. And they're all my friends now. So, um, you know, I, I can only say good things about them. It's just really a couple guys making what they love and uh, getting to share it with other people. Who are your favorite yo-yoers and why? As far as why, I really try not to over dissect uh, these type of things. Um, it's like the mind can't wrap around why something is beautiful. You know, some things just come from the heart and you can't really explain it. Um, as far as who, my personal favorites in no particular order, and I'm probably forgetting a whole bunch of people. Um, Yuki Spencer, John Ando, Spencer Berry, Zach Gormley, Anthony Rojas, Mark Montgomery, Jensen Kimmett, Ricardo Fraolini, Sebastian Brock, Sterling Quinn, Janos Karanks, if I'm saying that right, Jason Lee, Danny Severin, Sid Seed, Justin Weber, Ayumu Harada, and Takeshi Matsura. Yeah. Why do you think yo-yoing is a good hobby? Well, I wouldn't say it's any any better of a hobby than than anything else, but to me, it's just it's just fun. It's also a good way, you know, to meet people and connect and grow a community and friendships. Um, but then, just like any other hobby, uh, yo-yoing can mean something different to anyone, um, depending on on who they are, what they like, and what what they want from it. So it can be a, just like a hobby, a pastime, um, but it can also be a sport, a uh, creative outlet, a de-stressor, a social activity, a performance art, uh, etc. Are you excited to go to the World Yo-Yo Contest in Tokyo next year? Yes, if I get to go, I'd be very excited. Uh, what has been your favorite contest moment as a spectator and, ha and as a contestant? I mean, as a spectator, my favorite freestyle to ever watch was Jensen, Jensen's uh, 2011 freestyle. Um, his 2010 freestyle was, you know, really big and flashy and impressive. But his 2000, 2011 freestyle, uh, like, really put me in a trance. And I think it was, it was personal and uh, beautiful without being any less impressive. It was still technically a ridiculous freestyle um, like one throw just you know banging out some of the craziest stuff and to just be there in that moment with like he uh, he made the room go quiet I felt that really just uh, let you take it all in a lot a lot more so that's definitely like the coolest kind of spectator moment I've, I've experienced and then as a contestant um, my 2010 world's freestyle was my favorite moment just because um, I, there wasn't any pressure that I would I would usually feel for competitions because I didn't even know I would uh, I was in finals and then I got there a uh, day two a day or two before and found out that I was seated so I just really put together some tricks um, you know picked a song knowing that there's no chance I was gonna win. So my, my goal was really to relax and have fun with it. And I think I, I sort of accomplished that. Not that, I, not that I did an amazing freestyle, but it was, um, it was just fun to be on stage. And it's hard, like most of the time, uh, you're stressed out and you just want to hit your tricks. And, but, but there I felt I could really let it go. How do you come up with new tricks? Um, well, I kind of just look at the string as a playground and the yo-yo as yourself kind of just exploring and having fun. Um, 
and really it's it's just really it's just like curiosity roaming free so uh, it's always good to have a starting point or uh, you know a mount or a new trick that you learned or something and then you just kind of explore and see where you can go and find all the possible angles or you know it's it's just kind of losing yourself in 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 the daydreaming of your, of the string in the in the yo-yo. Do you have a favorite ever yo-yo? Not really. I don't have one. I mean, I, I generally know the different types and personalities of yo-yos I like, but um, even then, I like to I like to switch it up and and jump from different yo-yos. Uh, just to just to make it interesting and switch up my style, um, because you know different personalities that the yo-yo has and weight distribution, size, shape, the way that it reacts to the movements of your fingers um, will be different for every yo-yo. So doing the same movement with um, with a large yo large heavy yo-yo in comparison to a, a small light one, the yo-yo is going to go into different places, and that's kind of what makes it fun is switching it up, and um, I think it naturally just makes you think differently and kind of find new things. Um, but as I've said, there are certain yo-yos that I tend to lean more towards and end up spending a lot more time with, and I, I would say to sum those up. I might be forgetting some, but it would be the Peak, the Bear vs. Man, the Clash Cube, the 07 Triple the Pure Spy Pure, the Freehand Zero, the Project, the Avalanche, and the Yeti. Uh, do you enjoy competing? Um, well, yes, I, I enjoy making a freestyle. It's kind of like putting a trick together. Uh, you gotta, you know, string together different elements and find transitions and pacing and put it to music. Um, and I enjoy being on stage, usually. Uh, it's just fun to perform. I haven't uh, focused on competitions, though, because a, a kind of discouraging factor is when I do put in the time to make one and then show up to a contest and with the competition being so dense nowadays, um, I don't even make finals. So then it's like, I just, you know, dedicated a lot of time to not being able to show what, like, anything for it kind of thing. And I've just, I think I just decided that I didn't have as much fun doing that. And I have more fun just playing and, and sharing my tricks in a different way. So it's not really a focus I have right now, but um, maybe in the future. But I've never, as far as like, I've never been interested in trying to really win anything uh, because I think if you, if you want to win, you have to practice uh, an amount that would become work for me. And I, w I want to do uh, anything I can not to turn this hobby into something I don't like. To me, when I do compete, it's more about sharing my tricks and and trying to, I guess, uh, make it enjoyable for the spectator. When do you enjoy yo-yoing the most? Uh, I enjoy yo-yoing the most just when I'm at home, alone, messing around, or with my friends. Do you have a favorite ever trick? Uh, sort of. I think Rancid Milk would hold a, a close second place, and then Spencer Berry's Enigma would be my favorite trick. Um, it's just, it's kind of a combination of, uh, it looks so cool, the elements are so interesting, it feels so complete, like beginning, middle, end, and it also feels really good to do. So it's just something that, um, it's just so well crafted, the flow in between the elements, it's just kind of what I love about a, tr a full trick, like complete, yeah. Do you have a favorite combo you can show us? Yeah, um, I'm gonna show you the combo that has, it's just kinda, it's been like three years since I started uh, putting it together and I think I finally finished it, although I keep changing it and um, I'm just kinda proud of it I f because 
I think it looks cool and it's just crazy to me how it took so long, like it's like three and a half years to finally finish it. So I feel good that, that it's sort of done. You can count on. So what's the bottom line on this limited time offer? Two steps. Traffic. The Call GTA brought to you by your BC Lions. This Saturday, BC Lions take on the Winnipeg Blue, Blue Bombers at BC Place. Kick off at 7 o'clock. Bring the noise and roar. Make sure tickets now at BCLions.com. A bit of a tough start for the Lions game bridge this afternoon. First, we had earlier problems both ways on bridge deck. Those get cleared, and now a police incident. It's on Marine Drive. It's eastbound just near Pemberton. Also, an accident happened on westbound before the Cassio Tunnel. A crash eastbound Highway 1 near Wellington, and two more in Burnaby. Yeah, thanks again, Trinity Yo-Yo Club. Uh, keep doing what you do.